All right, guys, so this one, like I said, is going to be a bit of a lightning round. Um, I might not do too much talking. The purpose behind this is because in the previous recording, we had a technical difficulty um, that corrupted the machine, and I couldn't even re-import it. I had to do a re-download on the checksum again and everything. So we're back, and uh, you're kind of going to get to see Siren go at lightning speed up until the point where we were. And I'm not just going to throw the exploit, I'm going to walk you through beginning to end. Uh, I guess you could full screen, sit back, and enjoy the show. I'm going to get us right back up to the point where we were, guys. One momento. Vroom, vroom. Uh, was 167. Oh, we'll get that bling bling, Maticus, don't you worry. It's the name of the game, baby.
And this is where we were. Now, let's go ahead and get root. We're going to need to make our own payload, though, and get it up on the FTP. This is going to copy the bin dash di a binary to a world readable location, var temp dash. The next series of the command or chaining commands, chmod u plus s, that's user plus suid on var temp dash. And we're going to echo that out to test. Exit that terminal, reopen, and we're going to FTP to 192.16. Transfer complete. And the next thing we're going to do is netcat. 121. We're going to use that mod copy. And we're going to put it in that pseudo directory as test. Copy successful. 250. Now, go to the home directory, and we are going to sudo l. Copy the absolute path to the file, and we're going to sudo this. The command executed with no hiccups. No corruption, nothing. It executed just fine. Now we're going to go to var temp where our payload should have placed it. And we have the dash binary. And if I were to add some color to this, export term equals 256 color, x term 256 color, and ll. And list this out, you'll see that it's a shiny, as we used to call it. There's our dash. Dot slash dash as root. Who am I? Bling, bling. There's our bling bling maticus. And then we'd go to the root directory. We're going to go ahead and check out everything from the author. If you want to pause on that. Here's everything from the author, basically the long flag. And uh, what we're going to do at this point is export our environment variables because if config will not work as you see without it. But now that we export that, now we're in business. Get back to 256 color, alias out the LL. Exit my other terminal, LL. And uh, we're going to if config, host name, and ID. Effective uh, into MI if I want to. Uh, then we shift print screen, and that would go in your formal evidence. I'm going to copy. Uh, basically all of my notes here. And uh, from this point, I'm just going to go ahead and put a, that we found CD, what was it? Uh, var www ls sec, and uh, found an interesting file. Got some creds, got some credentials, exfiltrated there. And switch user to Patrick, use creds, sudo dash l, out of the gate always, and to lock this machine down, the next thing we need to do is transfer. Uh, then we find, well, sudo dash l was home, Patrick, script test. And I ran it, didn't do anything by default. Uh, but the next thing you want to do is then uh, echo your payload, payload time, echo uh, copy var, excuse me, bin dash to var temp dash, chain that into chmod user level plus suid on var temp dash. And if we can, and then uh, transfer time. Then what we're going to do is FTP to the IP on 21, anonymous, anonymous, CD upload, and put test. We're going to output this up here as the file test. And uh, the following thing is really just to exit out of that. We're going to netcat net verbose to the IP on 21. 
and we're going to do a site copy with the mod copy uh, permissibility copy from with pro ftpd always keep an eye out for it and site copy from home patcher at the home ftp upload test that we uploaded there and then we're going to go ahead and site copy to forward slash home Patrick and then the fun directory which is script and we're going to place it output as test that's going to be success we break out of that uh, we close our terminal and the next thing we want to do is sudo as Patrick as Patrick we're going to sudo home Patrick script test then we're going to cd to var temp and out of the local directory we'll run dash and we have root. So I'm going to copy all of this over, all of our notes, with some takeaway concepts. Always get as much practice as you can enumerating each and every service to get every scrap of information that you can. In fact, we're going to go ahead and prove that we could have shown Patrick existed on that machine. If I echo the IP, 167 works good. I'm going to go to my common, and I'm just going to prove to you that we could have found Patrick, maybe even got lucky with some brute forcing. But if we let that go, top 10 million usernames from Seclis, which you should be able to now install, we've added it to the Kali Linux repository. We're going to be using the mode of verify, and it goes through mail exists, Patrick exists. Common username, I guess. And many more, duplicate Patrick, but there, that's that's there. So that's one such takeaway concept. Um, FTP, if it's pro FTPD, or in the event of pro FTPD, ensure that mod copy is not enabled by default. This is a bad setting and a malicious actor can plant files with absolute pathing. The next thing we want to do is uh, if we notice other users and there are no uh, viable vectors from Linux privilege escalation guides, then we go ahead and attempt to move laterally um, and then sudo dash l every single time that we have a real user every single time can we overwrite those can we overwrite sensitive files this is a good question and the answer is if we can we win uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and include that there I'm going to scrap this up because we didn't do, need to do too much web enumeration. I'm going to copy this. We're going to go over to Discord. And in Wireside text, I'm going to put that this was Joy. And I apologize for the technical difficulties. Uh, from this point going forward, when I do virtual, or um, when I do like uh, VMs off of my own network or an internal network that I've created, I am going to, before the stream, not just revert the machine, but delete every file, re-download, and uh, re-import. That way we don't have any technical difficulties in the future. But there's the text file for Joy and all of our enumeration from there that it took to get in. This was a bit of a lightning round. I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure that we saw this through to the end. You know, trying harder, right? So, speaking of which, let's go to OffensiveSecurity.com. We have a nice little new UI layout on the home page. And if you scroll on down, you get to see all the fancy courses that we offer. This is the Web 200. Um, I'm one of the co-authors of this. And uh, maybe there's a few other things. Either way, uh, hope you guys very much enjoyed this. Let's go ahead and check out events while I'm here, you know. Anything new coming up? Um, Ask Me Anything with Jeremy Miller, Harbinger, and Jim O'Gordon. So content product manager and our chief content and strategy officer. That's going to be January 25th at 12 p.m. ET. 
So hope to see you guys there, and I'll make sure that this lightning round gets uploaded directly to YouTube. Thank you guys for all of your incredible support, and uh, again, I apologize for the technical difficulties. I hope very much that you enjoy your weekend. I hope this machine was able to teach you something. And um, with that, I'm going to say siren signing off. Thank you, guys. I see all the positive words in the chat. Thank you very much.